Otis Dulos, the estranged husband of missing Connecticut mom Jennifer Dulos, allegedly tried to intervene in the failing marriage of his lawyer and the lawyer's estranged wife, offering up a room in his home as a sex pad so the two could repair their relationship, according to a new report. His attempt to help attorney Kent Malhaney came just days before Jennifer's May 24th disappearance, the Connecticut Post reported, citing court documents. But his effort backfired. Malhaney, whose wife has accused him of sexual assault, was then charged with violating a protective order by having Fotis make contact, the paper reported, and Fotis is now ducking a subpoena to be deposed in a divorce case, according to the report. According to an affidavit, Mahini's wife said Fotis, she had only met once in 2014, randomly called her in May, asking her to consider repairing her marriage, the report said. I'm going through a divorce myself, and I know what it's like, and he wishes that someday that I would call Jennifer to do the same thing, what he did for us, and also told me that he would like to be friends with Jennifer someday, the woman recalled photos saying. The next day, she said Fotis asked for the two to meet at his Farmington home. He suggested that Kent and I could be in one of the rooms. It could be intimate, the woman said in the affidavit. The last conversation the woman had with Fotis was on May 22nd when she asked him if he would consider getting back with his wife, the Connecticut Post reported. He adamantly said, oh no, but I would like to be civil and be friends for the sake of the kids. The woman did not report Fotis' intervention in her divorce until June 26, when she allegedly spotted Kent Malhaney taking pictures outside her South Windsor home, the court document said. She had told police she believed Fotis was working with Malhaney to get rid of her. The site reported, citing Malhaney's arrest warrant. Fotis was busted along with his gal pal, Michelle Traconis, back in June for evidence tampering and hindering prosecution in the case of his missing wife. They are both out on bail.